Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial on how to use a basic template that you can get off of free PSD template sites and edit it in Photoshop. And I will link the template I'm using here in the description and also the site that offers many, many free Photoshop templates to use for your logo and your business. Now before I get started, I want to mention that I have just made a new site called GuruGalaxy.com. I will also link that in the description and that houses all my videos and text tutorials as well as different tools that you can use to help with your graphic design journey and to teach you more things about graphic design that I may not have on my YouTube channel. Alright, so let's get started with this tutorial. So I chose a cutout template and what this is going to do, I'm going to put in a text logo, my Guru Gal logo, and it's going to look like this cut out image that we have right here. But how do we change this without getting too into the 3D aspect of this? Well, it's really easy. This is what it looks like when you download the file. It will come in a folder, you're gonna unzip it, and it will come with the PSD and probably a license. Make sure you read this to make sure if you're gonna use it for commercial use, if that's okay, or if it's just for personal use. So now to get into this. Now as you can see, it opened up these five layers. And the one we really want to focus on is the place your logo here one. And many of them are going to have this to make it easier for you to use. Now what we want to do is we want to double click on this and it's going to come up with this kind of white looking logo that they used for this one. So we have this and it looks like this in the final product. So how are we going to change this? Well we want to go over to where it says vector smart object and we want to right click and we want to go down to replace contents. And this is going to bring up your file browser and you're going to find your logo that you want to use. So I'm going to use my transparent uh, YouTube logo, place there. And as you can see, it already kind of made it white to use with this template. So before we go back and look at this, because you can see it just used the old one, we need to save this. So we go up to file save. So we're going to go back up to this other tab and as you can see now our logo is incorporated into the design and it is this easy to use template. Some of them are a little bit harder if you would like to know how to use more in-depth temp templates that um, span a couple pages or you're doing magazine layouts please let me know and I will cover that in another video but I hope you learned a lot today in this tutorial and that you can start using these Photoshop templates for your personal use or even business use. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos and comment below if you need to see anything related to graphic design or if you have any questions.